Yes, people, welcome back to another video. Today is uh, a mixture of a lot of things. We're fixing Laura's micro. We're going to go to Matt, the guy that gave us the parts for the Miata, which we've fixed now and figured out. I'm not going to tell you a lot too much because that's going to be in a big video. A big video I keep talking about that's coming out soon. Yeah, and then also we're going to be going out. I have no idea where we're going out. But yeah, the first thing we need to do is fix the micro. It keeps overheating because the thermostat's fucked. So what we're going to do, instead of putting a new one in, we're just going to take the thermostat out. It's actually a pretty simple job. It's like right in there. So we literally just need to take the pipe off, let some coolant leak out, and then take that off, and then take the thermostat out, and then yeah, job should be a good one. We're gonna get onto that now, and then we'll be on the way to Matt to return his parts. And look at some cool MX-5s. He's got a turbo MX-5 there. He's got like some track build over there. It's pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, enjoy, bye. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, you can't. I didn't fucking expect that to happen. All right, thermostat is out. I don't even know if you lot could see in the time notes. Actually, the GoPro angle probably picked it up. But yeah, we had a little oopsie daisy here. I didn't expect that much to come out when we took this piece of shit out. But basically, this is what was causing us all the trouble and all the overheating. Yeah, now all that we got left is top it up, pray for the best, uh, hope that it doesn't leak, and then leave. <laughs> I think jobs are good then, so we're gonna pack up and get a move on. Before we get into it, tell them about your business, where to find you, what, what they need from you. Instagram, Evo EPD, uh, Evolution Electrical and Property Development. Is it electrician work, isn't it? Yeah, and property development, so anything, oh. sort of any work really, just get involved. You heard the man, if you lot need anything from electricians or anything to do with your property or whatever, make sure you shout Matt because he's a sound guy and he's going to sort you lot out. Alright, so Matt, this is your MX-5, what yeah. are you doing to it right now? Uh, currently turbo in it. It's been in this stage for about three months now. Stripped it all down, the front end completely sort of under sealed the whole front end. Well, did you take the engine fully out? And yeah, it actually was, yeah. When when the whole lock, first lockdown, I actually, have, um, I t took all the engine out. Um, yeah. And then I basically started then spraying all the engine bay. I got a guy called Matt Riley um, to come and actually spray all the bay. A bit dusty, so. Yeah, you, you always say that, but under the dust, <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> it's it. Soft. It's but somewhere there's um, yeah some nice paint. Yeah. I do like the two tone to be fair. It does it does look nice with the yeah, white. Yeah, it goes well with the blue. So and especially with the blue soft top as well. Like you can't really see it again. There's dust on it, but <laughs> it sort of goes. Well I took to, nice. to, to be fair, I thought it was black the yeah. whole time. I'm <laughs> not gonna it. lie. Or grey with a dust. <laughs> yeah, on it, yeah. It's literally a standard engine. Um, I built all this turbo kit myself. Welded all the manifold up myself. Um, oh, well, my dad helped me do that. So the exhaust is again. I manufactured my whole exhaust all the way to the back. It is a budget build. Um, I didn't want to spend thousands on it because I just want to drive it. I, I hate spending yeah. thousands and then I, I don't drive it because yeah, I've spent so much money on the car that yeah, I can't yeah, afford yeah. to run it. Or it's just one of those things. RS um, Azua, I can't pronounce it. Uh, front bumper, so these are pretty rare. These are Japanese imported. You're um, saying like one of 300s? Three or four, 500. I can't remember how what the exact number is, but they are, they are really rare. Exactly. How long is it sat here for? Well, probably since like the first lockdown, I put pulled it in here. I built all this shelter and stuff for it, so I, and I put it straight in here. Oh, nice! It just comes straight out, um, and then that was it. It's just it sat here. It rolled over to the spray booth to yeah. be sprayed, and then yeah. come back in here. So, and then obviously this uh, GC Fab roll cage as well. Yeah, it's probably like the best one out there. Um, there is TR Lane and stuff like that, but yeah. everyone raves about these, and yeah, absolutely brilliant. Easy to mean. easy to install, um, and it works well with the Mark 
to glass um, soft top as well. Well, this is Matt's project. It's coming along nicely. I can't wait. I actually can't wait for this car to be in the road. What's the other ones you got? I know you got your pops on is here. Yeah. That one is fucking mint. So this is just pretty much standard. Uh, my yeah. dad's done a few bits. Uh, he's done exhaust, full uh, race and beat manifold and full exhaust system yeah, yeah. on it. Um, I actually gave that to him for Father's Day, so it was off oh, my nice. car, so yeah, I mean, it's still for Father's Day, it was pretty cool. The interior, pretty cool. It's got Lotus seats retrimmed, which is pretty cool. Got a bit of blue in everywhere and nice sort of things, just, just basically keeping it clean yeah. and stuff, because it is, it's such a pain. Even, even the soft top, like that, like the whole soft top <laughs> is just so <laughs> mint. Yeah, we've got the white roll cage, the same as mine. Yeah, that is sick. Honestly, you cannot see a single bit of like rust or grime or anything on this car. It's crazy. He loves it. So, oh, and it's got the big brake kit from a. Yeah, I did think it's it's. it's five SVT, so it has got the big brake kit on it as well. Yeah, I was so. thinking they look. The brakes are quite meaty. Yeah, and also this used to be all, uh, automatic, so we okay. manually manual swapped it. So it's it's had a manual box fitted. Um, okay. So, we've so that's why it's got that custom like plate tab thing on it. That's yeah. It, yeah. Well, yeah. It was just something to uh, just sort of jazz it up a bit. It's a nice swap. I mean, I always said to him, you can't have an auto MX5. Uh, no, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> it completely yeah. defeats the purpose, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. I want to know what what was this color? You said you, uh, again. You told me last week, but this, uh, this color, the actual no, the ring, um, engine cover. It's like a wrinkle like gray. Um, wrinkle gray. Is yeah, it's like a wrinkle like a wrinkle effect gray. It's mostly used on like. Um, Hondas, they do like a red sort of uh, wrinkle effect on their rocker okay. covers. Okay. But um, yeah, the that guy, looks mean. the guy previous to this actually done all of this work here. Yeah. It just makes it look so clean as well. Yeah, no, it makes a massive difference. Even all the pulleys look brand new. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, how clean the car is. And there's one more. There's one more <laughs> Miata. I want to see this one. Oh, I want you lot to see it. Obviously, I've seen it already. But this one, it. <sighs> This, this is kind of what yours is going to be like, ish, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's, it's, based, it's based on this, so I'm building it to a similar spec. There you go, that's it. Yeah. It's kind of an awkward place right now, I can't really show you that. <laughs> it's got like a, I don't know if you can see, there's like a big wing on the back, which is pretty cool. But yeah, what this is kind this of the same turbo kit ish. Yeah, you're so going for? this is a 1.8, that mine's a 1.6. Oh, yeah. So okay. it, it'll be quite cool to see the comparison because I've not actually been in a 1.6 turbo, yeah. but turbo. Is the same. The roots of the inner cooler piping and everything is pretty much the same. Yeah. The exhaust size is exactly the same. Well, um, what size are you running? Three inch? Uh, way, it's or? a two and a half inch actually. Oh, really? It. So, yeah, but um, this is pretty noisy. I mean, um, a lot of the track days and stuff that we do. People complain or? No, nah, it's just the noise limits, like hitting noise limits. We've done Brands GP and this, and we were getting black flagged uh, every time you sort of push the car. What, yeah. do they like constantly monitor the noise? Yeah, out of the car? yeah, you've got a couple of microphones around the circuit. So, <laughs> serious? Yeah, so you pick up the noise and where it resonates and stuff like that. So, it doesn't want to get rid of it, but he also wants something a bit more. Friendly. Compliant, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, uh, we're not going to start it again, I don't think. But we already started it, so I'm going to put the clip in now. Uh, we can actually hear the car. <laughs> it, it, it sounds, it sounds crazy, yeah. to be fair. Oh, we want to know about this, the, the, <laughs> this, this story. <laughs> I can't remember exactly, so just quickly run it through for them. Lot. Down here, I store um, a couple of bits down here, and I had a two-poster ramp. Quite funny, actually, deciding to uh, move my two-poster ramp on a forklift over the top of this car, and one of the posts from the two-poster oh, slide. <laughs> I thought the car was on a ramp when you was trying to like, um, do something. So it, it come from up up top here. So yeah. if you look up on here on a container sort of area up here, okay. it sort of slid down, and the arm was straight onto that. So the from there. the top there, it's uh -huh. just come down straight into the bonnet. Into the bonnet there and put a hole in there. That's why it's duct taped. I think you lot got so lucky that it didn't like damage the engine or something yeah, like that. Yeah, no, it's absolutely fine. There's a bit of cracking on the rocker cover and a bit of a dent, but yeah. I'm I'm really surprised. I mean, I, it doesn't look like the car's moved. I did say to him, with all the carbon on the car, you might as well just put a carbon bonnet on it now. At this point, yeah. But um, no, I think he's he's steering away from this car. I think this. This car has probably only got another year, two years in it. Touch wood, <laughs> it's yeah. been, there's never been, a, yeah. we've never had problems with this car and we push it every track day. We're pushing it 50, 60 laps, even more on track days yeah. um, and just rolling around. Well, th this is the thing about you lot. I, like, 
I, I the whole time I thought you lot were skidding. Only <laughs> just now I found out that they actually like go around circuits and like do like yeah. time laps around the track type of thing. Yes, yeah, there's all there's all lap monitoring uh, equipment in the car. So oh, really? Monitors, GPS. Um, it shows sick. you racing lines um, and everything like that. It's got cameras as well, so it shows yeah. you front and rear. Um, yeah. yeah. Anyway, you lot, that's about it from Matt's garage. Uh, they're gonna shoot some B-roll that you've already seen. And then, Lord, are we going to a meet today or? Yeah, I've got messages already. So then, we're gonna make a move. So yeah, thank you, Matt. Uh, as I said, Absolutely if you lot nice. need any electrician or any building work or anything like that, make sure you message Matt. Uh, help with Miatas. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to help you out. Just mention me or Laura and uh, he'll sort you out. But yeah, let's make a move on now. The meat is dead, so we're gonna go probably see Osama or something. Man, I like use it, yeah? Jeez! What are you saying? Uh, Bro, you're still yeah. wearing that fucking auto finesse hoodie. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You sleep in it. Uh, tell, tell them how long you've been wearing it. Because they saw you in the last video and the video before in this hoodie. More than two weeks. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let, let me smell it, let me smell it. I don't smell bad. Yeah, it's because you fucking drown yourself. I never yourself. smell bad. You drown yourself in perfume, that's why. So have you tiger sealed it onto you or something? No, like, bro, no, no feel it underneath, yeah. It's actually, like, I don't wear a shirt underneath it. And it's actually fucking comfortable. Fucking hell, you and went gym in that. No, I'm getting it. used to wearing a hoodie in it, so I can wear, so when I get my own Sunday HQ hoodie, so. I see, is it, is it, ay, 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 man, like. Don't make bad man blaze it. Yeah. Anytime that I jump on a beat like this, got a shout AJ, could that flow his sis? Every other day I get stopped by sis. Still makes amnesia, we with six. The Ami smells.